welcome to Lady in Waking. If you've never been here before, my name is Ashley. I'm a 40-something pop culture geek who absolutely loves vintage style, and I've always been um, a fan of vintage style, but right now I'm trying to tailor it to my 40s. So if that's something that's of interest to you, or even if you're interested in vintage techniques in general, feel free to stick around, subscribe, and like the videos, and those will keep them coming. To, that will keep them coming to you. And today we're going to do this very glamorous, very tiki appropriate crown of curls hairstyle inspired by a photo from the 1940s. Um, I chose to keep my bangs off my face. You can do the, this with bangs if that's more to your taste. But this gorgeous flower clip is from Bell Blossoms. I love the addition of the leaves to give it more of a tropical feel. So you can couple this with a large flower like this or you can go with something that is a little bit more um, like peppered with flowers, even baby's breath would be great if you wanted to do this for a wedding. So stick around and we'll have a couple of concluding comments at the end. Tutorial comes next. So the first thing I did is I rolled my hair last night in these wrap snap and go or rock and rollers as they're called on Lauren Reynolds website. I will post a link below. I used a couple of pillow rollers for just the couple of pieces that I didn't have enough rollers for. I think there's 12 in the rock and roller set. And then I brushed my hair back. I brushed my hair back and I pinned it in place. I decided not to feature my bangs in this style just to keep it more in keeping with the original photo. Um, just bobby pinned it in place and sprayed it. And then after I got that arranged, I'm gonna take two sections from behind the bobby pin and I'm going to put that in clear elastics without going all the way to the ear. I'm just taking a small section behind those bobby pins at the top and I'm putting them into a couple of clear elastics. I didn't make it too tight. I just made it a little bit loose so that I could work those through, work those pieces of hair a little bit later. And I did that on both sides of what would typically be my part, but a part of course doesn't really factor into this style. So two clear elastics, one on either side uh, basically on the other side of the crown. And then I'm going to take those individual sections that I just put into the elastics, tease them a little bit for volume, and then sort of loosely arrange the curls on top and pinning into place. You want to pin loosely so that the curls can fall naturally and that will give you that sort of freeform crown of curls at the top. And of course, this is completely subjective. You can keep this as loose and as, like I said, free form as you would like. Um, I liked the curls to be a little bit more defined, but if you wanted this to be used for sort of a 60s style, you could literally just toss up large waves and large sections of hair and it would look a lot more like a 60s style. So I'm doing that on both sides. I'm just winding the hair around my fingers after I've teased it for a little bit of volume and then pinning it in place, leaving the curls sort of loose on top of the head and rearranging as I see fit. And then after I've arranged those curls, I'm actually gonna connect them with a bobby pin so that there's no chance that they're gonna separate and show that I've got that pinned into two sections. And actually this should have been a little closer to the hairline. Um, according to the picture, it was her curls fall a little closer to the hairline, so you could do that. And then I'm taking the side sections. You can put these straight back or you can twist them. I'm twisting them to give it a little bit more interest at the sides. And so I twisted those sections, I think, towards my face. And now I'm taking the end of that section and pinning it in to sort of solidify with the crown of curls at the top of the head, using bobby pins to secure. And then I'll just spray it in place and I'll do the same thing on the other side. I twist the section towards my face and then pin in place the curls at the side. And this is when you would add your flowers. Make sure you brush the back to make it as smooth as possible. And this is when you would add either a large flower clip or some smaller flowers at the top. You can actually put on a flower crown and then put this style over the top if you'd like. Just check the back to make sure it's nice and clean. And that pretty much does it. You'll see me just sort of work it a little bit to make sure that it is even and then add my flower clip and spray and you are done. So that's it. It's very easy, super easy as a matter of fact. And if you're someone who really struggles with rolls and things like that, this is one that's almost impossible to get wrong. Even if you do this in a very, very blousy loose way with um, kind of heated curl set in just a little bit of wave, you'll end up with something similar to Brigitte Bardot in the 60s. And it's just 
kind of a fail safe. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And again, keep your requests coming and we will see you next time.